whole non-aggression Once that lesson sets in, you'll see a session But you got an affection for no progression Regression, the best don't obsess about oppression all right what is going on youtube it is your boy jerice uh back with another episode of real talk and so about two or three days ago i was literally just scrolling through instagram and something very interesting popped up on my news feed apparently lizzo has a ted talk oh my god and uh <laughs> Let's, it's it's pretty bad it's pretty bad uh let me just say uh black women um as for the reason why y'all are generally gonna be the least desired uh group of women on the planet for the most part um this video kind of explains why because here you have a black woman in a highly um what's the word i'm looking for a highly respected venue i guess because you know ted talks are you know they're pretty big you know a lot of educated individuals giving talks about subjects that actually matter to some people and this bitch decides to talk about twerking what bro what are you talking about man I'm talking about uh, Lizzo talking about twerking on TED Talk. <laughs> but let's let's play the video. Let's let's roll it. It's been the topic of conversation. My ass has been in magazines. Rihanna gave my ass a standing ovation. <laughs> yes, my booty, my least favorite part of my body. How did this happen? Twerking. <laughs> <laughs> Through the movement of twerking, I discovered my ass is my greatest asset. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ted Twerk. <laughs> I'm gonna take my shoes off, is that okay with y'all? Black people carry the origins of this dance through our DNA, through our blood, through our bones. We made twerking the global cultural phenomenon it has become today. I want to add to the classical etymology of this dance because it matters. From TikTok trends to songs and humor, we see so much erasure of what black people have created. I'm not trying to gatekeep, but I'm definitely trying to let you know who built the damn gate. My ass has been the topic of conversation. My All right. <laughs> pretty stupid, pretty fucking stupid. So let, let's go back down and break it. Let's break it down piece by fucking Peace, like molecule by fucking molecule. Ass has been in magazines. Rihanna gave my ass a standing ovation. All right, it's probably because um, Rihanna knows that she can't say anything bad about it because uh, you know body positivity. Because let let's let's ask ourselves the honest question: Do you think Rihanna would ever want to look like you? <laughs> but we're we're not going to talk about that part. Rihanna's fit. Ellie attractive, you know, she's got that that foreign what Barbados look or whatever. You you think Rihanna would ever ever want to look like you? Like no. And uh second of all, um I'm about to end this man's whole career. Lizzo, for as big as you are, you have no ass. <laughs> Like, how, how the fuck you fat as fuck and ain't got no kind of ass whatsoever? I've dated bitches way smaller than you with more ass than you. Like, this, this shit makes no sense, but whatever. Yes, my booty. My least favorite part of my body. Because you ain't got no booty. How did this happen? It's working. <laughs> And of course, she has to have the loud, stereotypical black bitch laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Through the movement of twerking, I discovered my ass is my greatest asset. Let <laughs> yeah, your ass is your greatest asset. Clever wordplay, whoever wrote this script. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ted Twerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my shoes off. Is that okay with y'all? 
And then I like how the audience, like, was cheering for her taking off her shoes. Like, I'm going to take my shoes off. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Like, what? What? Like, what are y'all... Oh, my God. Black people carry the origins of this dance through our DNA, through our blood, through our bones. So, um... Going by that logic, I guess that explains why there's some uh, black bitches that can't twerk, right? What the fuck? This bitch is stupid. We made twerking the global cultural phenomenon it has become today. I will agree with that part, but... <sighs> On the same note, I can Google and find a lot of uh, non-black females who are way more popular on instagram and uh facebook when it comes to their twerking videos but um we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that part i want to add to the classical etymology of this dance because it matters from tiktok trends to songs and humor we s what what is the humor in twerking like who who sees chicks twerking and decides that it's fucking funny what what this bitch is stupid see so much erasure of what black people have created i'm not trying to gatekeep but i'm definitely trying to let you know who built the damn gate my ass has been the okay all right that that's that's literally it the whole ted talk as of the uh time of this recording um has not been released on the ted talk channel on youtube yet so uh i'm sure it'll be there in a few days and good god Boy, can I not wait to react to that. <laughs> that is going to be um, hella interesting. That is going to be hella interesting. But um, yeah, this, uh, this uh, flat booty having a fat bitch right here, uh, she gets a hard <coughs> from me. But uh, I'm going to just leave it right there because I can roast this bitch for another hour and a half. But... That's all for this one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bit of a quick one today for me. I think I'm going to try to make uh, quicker videos the new, uh, the new norm for me. You know, maybe like 10 minutes max. But uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe because I have to sound like a professional YouTuber, right? I somehow got to 330-something subs, which I never thought I'd get. So... I don't know. <laughs> and it's like always videos I upload like months ago or some shit and they'll just like blow up out of nowhere. It's fucking weird. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, and um, yeah, it's been your boy Jaris and I'm out.